Hey there, this is Amanda. <laughs> this, uh, <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, Tap Mama and the Beg Brigade. This is uh, Mornings with Jesus, our daily devotionals. If you're new here, it's our daily devotionals start with a Bible verse and then an inspirational story, and it ends with a faith step. So um, I hope you enjoy it. I'm just going to get right to it, okay? Thank you. Our Bible verse goes as follows. We have known and believed the love that God hath, hath to us. God is love, and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. Herein is, is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. First John 4 16 through 17 now our inspirational story when i was little the first verses from the bible i learned were god is love first john 4 16 and love one another john 13 34 i've lived a full 48 years now so have i <laughs> been around the block a few times and studied a lot of theology I understand and t can teach some complicated concepts, yet I find myself returning over and over to those two, two simple truths. God is love. People have many different ideas about who God is. I think there's a great temptation to create God in our image rather than conform uh, ourselves to His. There are Christians who focus on His power, His majesty, even his wrath others emphasize the grace of god i have a tendency to do this or his mercy and god goodness and the bible has things to say about all of those but john john distills god's essence down down to one thing love he seems to be saying this it, it, this is the most important thing about god the source from which everything else flows and when jesus says love one another he's distilling down and clarifying the christian life following jesus is about many things but the root is love in and through love that's the way jesus wants us to relate to one another love is who he is who he wants us to be in the world when ford falconberry Faith step. Search for instances of the word love in the Bible. Write down all of the things you find that augment your understanding of how Jesus loves you and therefore how you are to love. I agree. <laughs> when it's all boiled down, Jesus means love. I think in the dictionary, it should right next to the word Jesus it should simply say love because that's what he means to me and when I think of what I want to convey in these devotions is that more than anything that's what we need more of in our world is love we don't love each other enough we don't love the, our fellow men enough. We don't love our families enough. We don't love perfect strangers enough. There's not enough love in our world. So much anger, so much power grabbing, so much greed not enough love not enough love so anyway y'all take away what y'all need to take away from it that's my thought <laughs> anyway i love y'all so does jesus that's always my thought i hope this helps one of y'all it means more than y'all know that you keep coming back and watching these if you like my channel and my content, I ask that you subscribe. We are trying to build here. So, I hope you all have a wonderful Tuesday, July 19th. 
I will see y'all on the next video. God bless you. See you later.